Good afternoon. Welcome to La Conca Murolaceze World Circuit here in the south of Italy. You are looking at one of the finest karting circuits on the planet, if not the best. Certainly a tremendous atmosphere here today for the third round of the WSK Super Masters Series for 2017. We are about to get underway with our four finals here this afternoon. The series is getting down to the serious end. This is Ian Salvestrin bringing you live commentary of our four finals in a few moments, starting with the first of which for the World Championship Original Kart OK Direct Drive category. The carts are being made out onto the grid or pushed out onto the grid. This 1.25 kilometre circuit constructed back in 1998, 20 years of operation, the anniversary next year. 1.25 kilometres. It's a magnificent complex. The crowd is building. We're in for a sensational afternoon of international level kart racing. The OK karts on the grid. They will have a 20 lap, 25 kilometre final. The heat racing, the qualifying, the pre-finals this morning have been nothing less than sensational. However, at the end of the day, or up until this point at least, it's been the green team that has dominated thus far. The front row is all Tony Car, Clement Novalak, who of course won the 2015 Supermasters Series Championship in the junior class. He starts on pole with the reigning vice junior world champion, the Spaniard David Vidalis, on the outside of the front row of the grid. Of course, David is a Ferrari Driver Academy junior driver. We take the opportunity to welcome a few of their senior drivers here this weekend. Antonio Fuoco, Charles Leclerc. Antonio testing during the week with the Prema F2 team, formerly known as GP2. Great to have them here at the circuit, along with Giuliano Alessi, former baby race team driver. And David representing the Ferrari Driver Academy, 206 Tony Kart on the outside of the front row of the grid. And while we're on that subject, also want to say hello to our former Tony Kart friend, Marcus Armstrong, who raced for the green team for the past couple of years, also racing with the Ferrari Driver Academy in the Italian F4 Championship, promoted by WSK Promotion for 2017. There is the pole sitter, Clement Novalak, a new man for this year, much more serious, much more focused. Certainly been super quick, the Dallas that we've been speaking about. On the outside of the front row of the grid. Two oh four is Novalak, two zero six is Vidalis for the Tony Kart Racing Team. Second row of the grid, Carol Bash. Of course, we go back to September 2015 and he became the first ever driver from Poland to win the World Championship. He won that title on this very circuit. He took the checkered flag just a few metres ahead of where his cosmic cart is parked at this very point. He lines up on grid number three. It's an all Tony Kart front row of the grid. It's an all cosmic cart second row because the impressive young Frenchman, Théo Poucher, starts on the outside of row number two. Pedrito Hiltbrand from Blanes, around about 100 kilometres north of Barcelona, 201. He's the reigning world champion. Starts out of grid number five. Alongside the VDK racing team driver from Belgium, Uli Stupau, in the 231 Perilla powered Cosmic. Of course, VDK taking the junior world championship. Last year with their driver, Victor Martins, who has elected to race in the French F4 Championship this year. We will miss him, but we wish him well for his future endeavours. Isaac Blomquist, could he cause an upset? Only his fifth race in the senior class, the Swede for the Swedish racing team, Ward Racing, the team run by Joachim Ward, out of grid number seven, alongside the very impressive Finn, Juhal Valtonen. He had a superb run in the pre-final this morning, finishing fourth. Starts on grid eight. 
and on the fifth row of the grid, the 2013 world champion for Team Zanardi Kart, the Englishman Tom Joyner. There he is, 255. Of course, first across the line in Castelletto, was given a five second penalty, but still took P3. Starts out of grid nine. Alongside the Malaysian from Kuala Lumpur, Abdul bin Ghaffar Mustafa Mawitsuddin. Welcome back, Abdul, to international level kart racing. He's been brilliant this weekend. 266 for the Danilo Rossi kart team. Managed by the legendary five time world champion, Danilo Rossi. 230, you know who it is, the boy from Brazil. That's Caio Colette, the Birol Art. On the sixth row of the grid, alongside the Spaniard, Killian Meyer, in the 232 CRG. The grid girls leave the circuit. We count down to the start. The 125cc engines will be pushed into life in just a few moments' time. There will be dynamo on the bitumen here. This will be nothing short of sensational. The third round, the WSK Supermaster Series, here at La Conca Murolacese. Just like the old school 100cc push start, there is no clutch, there is no battery, there is no starter motor. We've shed something like 13 kilo kilograms. Yeah, I just got distracted from what was on the screen there. Forgive me. Okay, the original direct drive class for 2017. They screen down the start-finish straight. And we're just about ready to go here at La Conca. The carts are pushed into life. Stand by for what will be a sensational 20 laps here in southern Italy. All the carts leave the line without a problem. As we take a look at the grid, all Tony Car front row, Novelak and Vidalis, all Cosmic second row, Bash and Pusher. Hill Brandon to Powell, Blomquist, Valton, and Tom Joyner. We just saw the Malaysian, Abdul Bingafa, Mustafa, Moitzadin. Starting out of grid number 10. The Brazilian Colette, the Spaniard Maya, Rock and Rasmus, Lynn David Lombardo, Callum Bradshaw. Alongside the Lithuanian Eustace Yunus as Pavo Tontari on the podium in the last round out of 17. Simon Olin. Yusuf Vega. John Luca Petikov, he had an eventful pre final. Taufik, reigning series champion in the junior class from last year. Michael Di Orlando, the American, scrapes into the field. as they try and get maximum heat into the Bridgestone tyres. The sun is shining. It's a top of 18 degrees here today. Certainly very different to the sideways driving rain at Castelletto and the minus four freezing conditions at Adria for the first round of the series. This will be sensational. Front row of the grid, all green. Second row, it's all purple. They come down through the chicane which through the latter part of this race will resemble a rally cross circuit as they launch each and every lap over the ripple strip. There's Do Di Orlando from New York. The 229 Birrell Art. We stand by for a start. Novelak to the left of your screen. Vidalis to the outside of the front row. Vidalis has lost out badly. The Spaniard from grid two is back into sixth. A great start by Carol Bash, and not a bad start either by the reigning world champion, the Spaniard Pedro Hiltbrand. Isaac Blomquist tucks into fourth spot. They all make their way through the back part of the circuit for the first time. An incident, unfortunately, has involved Rasmus Lind and the brick Callum Bradshaw. They haven't made it past the third turn. And are the first retirements from this final here this afternoon. Bash shadows the Tony Cart. He's in a green sandwich. 
as they come across the line for the first time. A lock up on the start finish straight, that's Tom Joyner. The 2013 world champion is out with an engine failure, it looks like. On the start finish straight, that was spectacular. He only completed exactly one lap and is the third retirement. We take a look at the replay down the inside, chokes the engine, he knew it was coming. The rear end locked up and from there he was a passenger. One of the front runners, no less than a former world champion, is already out of this one. Speaking of world champions, there they are. The current in third. Bash, 2015, he's in second. Being led by the young Englishman, Clement Novelak. Vidalis, after that dreadful start, he's recovered somewhat. He's back into fourth ahead of Blomquist. Then it's Pouchier, Depau, Valton, and Colette down to ninth. An unbelievable start by Taufik. The Moroccan up into 10th from grid number 21. The Ricky Flynn motorsport driver will try and catch a shot of him. So they go through the back part of the circuit just in that pack. The back of the screen now. What a start by the mighty Moroccan. There he is going through the chicane now. Incredible from Taufik. He's made up 11 positions on the opening two laps. He tucks in behind Colette. Hillbrand looks behind him. Blomquist is going to be passed by Pouchier. The Swede back to sixth. Head over the Belgian Uli Stupel. The, the Tony Kart of oh, Novelak working nicely. You saw the inside rear skipping off the bitumen. There was fresh air between that Bridgestone tyre and the tarmac. Vidalis in fourth. Pouchier, Blomquist, Depau, Valton and Colette. Petakoff. They're running ninth and 10th. The boys from Brazil being hounded by Taufik. The mighty Moroccan on the charge. He leads Noem Millel, Pavel Tontari, and the Lithuanian Eustace Yunusis. This is the end of their fourth lap of 20. They reel them off at spectacular speed here at La Conca. Novelak, two tenths of a second as Hilfrand sets the fastest lap of the race. 45.757. The reigning world champion in P3 from grid number five. Vidalis Pusher. The two Brazilians, ninth and tenth. The battle rages further on down through the field. Also, a, an amazing start by Michael Di Orlando as Telpi picked up another one going through the chicane. This is quarter race distance already. Yes, Michael Di Orlando from the back of the grid up into 17th spot in the Birol Art. Absolutely charging. Won't be too long till he's on the tail of his teammate. The Sao Paulo star, Colette. Push air goes through to Powell. Valton and Petakov. There's Di Orlando. A great start by the American. And of course, it was at this very circuit in 2015 where Logan Sargent became the first American in nearly 40 years to win a World Karting Championship at this very circuit. This is quarter race distance gone already. Novelak looks behind him. Back to Bash, who has put the reigning world champion Four tenths of a second behind. He's in a Tony Kart sandwich. The Green Machines running one, three, and four. The Cosmics, they're running second, fifth, and sixth, and seventh. And then Petakoff from Brazil calls Miami, Florida home these days. The 205 Tony Kart ahead of Taufik, who's now up to ninth, having just got past Colette. There's Novelak. He's been faultless this weekend. A couple of heat wins. His worst heat finish yesterday as the sun started to set in southern Italy was four. A win in the pre-final this morning. He leads the final here this afternoon. There's Vidalis. As we mentioned, the Ferrari driver, Academy team driver. Team pilot, it is a mouthful. The Spaniard. Second in the Junior World Championships. 
the race in the desert, Bahrain, November 2016. Steps up to seniors. He's doing a fine job in P4, one step off the podium. Actually getting closer to his countrymen, the two Spaniards, running three and four. Hilbrand's losing a ton of time, in fact, down through the chicane. We'll see if Vidalis is close enough to make a move. He thought about it. Maybe there's a degree of respect there for his countrymen. The reigning world champ, Hilbrand. Oh, he lets him through. You saw that. Hilbrand let his countryman, his teammate, through. Vidalis now up onto the podium. The inside rear off the ground once again. That green machine is hooked up and flying. Can Vidalis set about catching Bash? And in turn, can the pole get the race leader Novelak? Look at the replay. Hilbrand looks behind, signals, puts his hand down in front of that Vortex engine. And Vidalis goes through. He's now in P3. The gap from the race leader, Novelak tap back to Bash is seven tenths of a second. Novelak with the fastest second sector of the race. And Pusher now on the tail of the Spaniard Hilbrand makes an adjustment to that Vortex engine. Watch Pusher for fifth. Can he make the move? There's Depau going through. Back to Valton and Petikoff. Taufik. What a drive from the Moroccan. From grid 23, he's up into ninth. Noah Millel, the Swede routes out the 10. Then it's Colette Blomquist. Abdul bin Ghaffar Muizadin has not made a good start. The Malaysian is behind the Swede, he's 13th. Tontari Yunusis, Alessio Guazzaroni up into 16th. Michael Di Orlando, he's past 14 carts, but he's starting to find the going a lot harder now. The American is 17th ahead of Yusuf Vega, Jacobo Geno, and Eduardo Morricone, the baby race team driver, rounds out the 20. This is half race distance. This is your race leader. Born in Switzerland, but proudly an Englishman is Clement Novelak. The lead is out to 1.1 seconds. Look at the green machines and the Cosmics. The OTK carts going one through two. Let's see, they dominate the top 10. The first non-OTK card in this OK category is Colette, the Brazilian in the Birral Arts. He's 11th behind Malel. We've lost one of the Tony carts in at the chicane though. I think it's the Brazilian Petikoff. As they come down to start their 12th lap, I can see out our window that the green machine is being dragged away. Novelak will come past the stranded green cart in just a moment. There it is. Well, that's a tragedy for the Brazilian. He is out. We've had a couple of engine failures this weekend, which is quite rare for the OK category. No problems for Novelak. Although nervously, Hillbrand has had a couple of looks down at that Vortex engine. Possibly he's seen what's happened to his teammate and he's concerned about it and wants to get maximum fuel into that Vortex 125cc engine. Of course, the young German, David Schumacher, took his first heat win in WSK International Competition yesterday. He was superb throughout the heats. He was second in the pre-final. He also had an engine failure. This is a very hard circuit. La Conca, Muro, La Cese. Not only physically, but also on the equipment as well. This is the 13th lap. The gap is down to one second between Novelak Bash. Oh, a move up the inside from Hilbrand and Pulsher. They're going side by side through the final turn. And all the while, they're losing touch with the leaders. Novelak has not put a Bridgestone tyre out of place. Puts a tenth of a second on Bash. As the retirements start to mount, we have lost the Lithuanian Kasperis Vizgelis. We lost Joyner on the opening lap. Rasmus Lind and Callum Bradshaw, they didn't get past the third turn. Sebastian Alvarez, the Mexican, is out. And just a lap ago, we lost the Brazilian John Luka Petikoff as well.
still 28 runners from the original 34 starters. The Cosmics go through. Valtanen, Milel. There's Taufik, just ahead of Moitzid in. Blomquist. Tontori goes across the line. Colette. Guattaroni is having a great drive. He's ahead of the Lithuanian Unusis. And Michael Diolando just outside the top 15. The driver from New York, USA, from the back of the grid in the 229 Birrell Art. One point two seconds from the Englishman Clement Novalak to the pole, Carol Bash, and the Spaniard, the two Spaniards in fact, Vidalis and Hilprand. Of course, we speak about Carol Bash winning the 2015 World Championship at this very circuit. Let's not forget Clement Novalak was second on that day in the junior category. The race that was won by the aforementioned American, Logan Sargent. Three-quarter race distance. I can't see them catching this man on screen. Clement Novalak, 2015 WSK Super Masters Series champion. Doing a fine job out front. The gap, 1.26 seconds. Over the ripple strip he goes, past the abandoned cart of his teammate, the Brazilian John Luca Petakoff, into the final corner. He will have four laps for now remaining. Carol Bash, I don't think the pole has got an answer. Vidalis, he's third, he's on the podium. Ulista Paul, Pusher. The Cosmics have now got past Hillbrand, the Spaniard, the reigning world champion, back in P6. Head of Valton and Malel. Taufik and the Malaysian Moitza Din rounds out the 10. Clement Novalak, 2015 Supermaster Series champion. He actually led coming into this round by seven points over Ulis Dupau. Dupau's in fourth in the series. And indeed, he's fourth on the road. Novalak's first in the series. He's first on the road. And he's looking good to extend his points here this afternoon. If he can hold on for another two and a half laps at La Conca Muro Lecese, the first of our four finals here this afternoon, has not put a Bridgestone tyre out of place. Carol Bash, 26 years of age, from Warsaw in Poland. Cosmic factory driver. Also doing some Lamborghini sports car racing in GT3. The gap is out to 1.5 seconds. They're not going to get him. It's going to take a disaster, and we wouldn't wish that on the likeable young Englishman. Bash across the line, he's lost two tenths of a second now. There's two laps now remaining. There's Hilbrand. We go back to Valton and Millel. They've traded positions. There's Moitzit in. There's Taufik, the mighty Moroccan from the back of the grid. He's up inside the top ten. Michael Diorlando just flashing by as well. Only three places behind his Birol Art teammate, Colette, from Sao Paulo in Brazil. Of course, he was third in the Junior World Championships in 2015 at this circuit when the driver on screen finished second to the American Logan Sargent. No back. Look at that. He chokes that Vortex engine big time. A big gush of fuel running, running into that 125cc power plant. He doesn't want a failure on this final lap. The direct drive OK category is back and it's getting stronger each time out. The same techniques employed by these drivers, as we've seen in days gone by in 100cc, a little bit sideways on the exit from Novalak, down through the chicane for the final time. It's been a perfect weekend, it's been a faultless drive. Again, he chokes that engine. No failure does he want. The final corner, the checkered flag comes out. Clement Novalak extends his series lead. He wins here at La Conca Muro Lecese. Carol Bash, he may have won the World Championship at this circuit in 2015, but he comes across the line in second. And the young driver from Leon in Spain, David Vidalis, comes across the line in third.
we will hear the English national anthem play out in a few moments time. Novalak leads the series and he's extended that gap here this afternoon at La Conca Muro La Cese. Well, you can't say it wasn't deserved. He's had a brilliant weekend. He won the pre-final, he won a couple of heats and he's dominated this final. He's won by 1.8 seconds here in the sunshine of Southern Italy and looking good to make it another Supermaster Series title as we head into the final round at Sano Napoli in a few weeks time. Let's check the results for you. The Englishman Novalak wins, Bash, the second step of the podium, and Vidalis, he climbs up to third. Depau was fourth from Poucher, the Cosmics, then it was Hiltbrand, Millel, Valtonen, Moitzadin ninth, and Taufik from near on the back of the grid, rounds out the 10. Bad luck for the likes of Joyner, that spectacular engine failure on the opening lap. That's really put a big dent in his championship. He was fifth coming into this round, but he will get virtually zero points out of this weekend. Clement Novalak will be the driver to beat. We will join him on the podium in a few moments. He has just won, no, check that. He has just dominated the third round of the WSK Supermaster Series here at La Conca Muro La Cese. We'll hear the English national anthem ring out here in Southern Italy in a few moments time. And we'll join him on the podium in a few moments. Novalak wins the third round of the series for the OK Direct Drive class. We'll join him on the podium in just a few moments. So the drivers just making their way up the stairs here in the moment. It's an OTK domination. The green machine going one and three here at La Conca Muro La Cese.
Clement Novalak extends his series lead coming into the final round at Sano in a few weeks' time. Davi Bidalas, the young Spaniard. Green carts one and three, and of course, Carol Bash from Poland, world champion at this circuit two years ago. Splits the green carts, the cosmic cart takes second. The podium presentation in a few minutes time, right here at La Conca World Circuit in Southern Italy. And of course the junior final coming your way in just a few moments. The sun is shining. We've passed our top expected temperature of 16 degrees today. It's now up to 18, almost 19 degrees. No chance of rain, and that's certainly a welcome release. Relief after Castelletto and Adria. And we expect beautiful sunshine for the fourth round of the series, Sarno International Circuit at the foot of Mount Vesuvius. Don't forget the junior final, KZ2, coming your way. And we will finish off with the 60cc Mini Pilots the future stars of world karting. We're ready to get underway here. The podium presentation for the green team from Lyon in Spain. Third place, David Vidales. Second place for the Cosmic Racing Department from Poland. Let's hear it for Carol Bash. He extends his series lead. It's an all-new driver for 2017. He's looking good coming into the final. He has dominated this afternoon. The winner here at La Conca from England, Clement Novelak. <laughs> the third place trophy to be presented to Spain, Spain's David Vidales. The second pl place trophy to Poland's Carol Bash. And the winner from England for Tony Kart Racing, Clement Novelak. The girls to present the magnificent Avio Milano timepieces. As we stand by for the national anthem of Great Britain. Podium for the OK final, the winner Clement, second Carol, and in third place, the best Spaniard here today, Davi Vidalas, third place. A great drive, congratulations. Thank you very much. It was a difficult race, especially in the start from outside, it was not easy, but then we were very fast, so I could arrive to the third position. I was trying to catch Carol, but at the end, we were more or less the same, so I'm happy with the result. Congratulations, David. Of course, Carol, this track, very special memories for you a couple of years ago. Second today, not really the result you wanted. Well, the beginning of the weekend was really hard for us, uh, but we are here, so we find the speed and we are happy for that. We are on the top. Congratulations, Carol, second today. Clement, 2015, you won the Junior Series, going into the final round at Sano. You're looking good. You've extended your lead, a driving lesson today. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, the lead the lead keeps getting bigger after the last two races, so I can only hope for the best in the last round and uh, hopefully try and do the same we did today again. 
Congratulations. Third place, Darby Vidal. Second place, Carol Bash. The winner, Clement Novalak. The junior final in just a moment.